everybody i just went pee how's your day going my lips are so chapped these days guys i hate it it's like so embarrassing don't look at my lips i just ordered sushi it's five o'clock cory and i have been working on a live show all day and i'm so excited you guys i think it's gonna be fun we were coming up with some really funny stuff we were like both like cackling laughing so hard and uh so i really want you guys to come we're going to san francisco and sacramento next month so get tickets and then we're going to like new york and toronto and i don't remember where we're going but i'm gonna eat some sushi and then i'm helping eric with a self tape and that's what i'm doing ha, 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 boo. Hi. <laughs> so do you want to come try You wanna try? Go like this and you go, ha, 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 boo. Ha, ha, I'll try, I'll try. Okay, okay. Ha, ha, Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> that was a good one, Wesley. Look at me, get some more. You giving him kisses? Oh, Wesley, can you see my yours? Maybe after when I do this. Yeah? You want to try again? Are you going to do it? Five, four, three, two. I don't think he has any more dudes. Got some packages. You want to help me? Oh, this is interesting. Ah, look at these. Ah, look at these. Ah, so cute. They're like little teddy bears. They're so cute. Wesley, do you like it? Oh, it's going to fit you perfectly. It will not fit your sister. I know. It will yeah, not fit your sister. I it's only going to fit you. You're such a big boy. <laughs> big boy. You're such a big boy, Wesley. Yeah. You such a big boy. You guys gonna go fly a drone? Come on, she's Louise. Yeah, I got one more package to open and then I will come. Okay, Wes. My sister's taking a really good nap over there. Don't worry. They don't sleep in the swing without someone sitting right next to them. So I'm always like my eye on her right next to me. Alrighty. This matches the outfit I got for Wesley yesterday, I think I opened. The problem is that Maisie is so much smaller than Wesley. You can't really tell in pictures and videos, but guys, she is significantly smaller than him. So it's hard to get them matching anything because they have to get him such a bigger size than her. What's going on out there? They're flying a drone and it sounds like big drama. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Big boy! Is that fun? Big boy! Oh. Big boy! Katie bud. <gasps> Maisie's waking up! Gotta go. Okay, we're gonna see if we can get the babies to talk to each other. <coughs> Who's that? <coughs> yes, that's your sister. <coughs> yes, that's your brother. <laughs> Maisie! Where's your brother? <coughs> yeah, is he up there? Oh, he's smiling. Ah. He's smiling so big. Oh, oh, oh. Do you see your sister? Oh, oh don't, don't you sneeze see on your sister. God bless you. Let's see, where's your sister? Where's Maisie? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you grumpy. It's your bedtime. Any time is full, it's time for bed. Yeah, he nodded. He's like, yes, I want to go to bed. Hi, everybody. So it's time to make bottles. This is the new tortilla talk. I have to talk quietly because the babies are asleep right there. They were very hard to get to sleep, so I really don't want to wake them up. Well, Wesley was hard to get to sleep tonight. So I thought I could just do a little tortilla talk in here tonight, like I have been lately. Sorry I didn't film anything today. It was a busy work day. Corey and I worked a lot on the live show. I'm very excited about it. And then I worked with Eric on a self tape for a while. And then I had a bunch of other work. So anyway, um, um, I wanted to answer some of your questions. So let me pull those up. This question intrigues me. It's from Kay May. It says, Tortilla Talk, what's your best advice for balancing having kids slash being pregnant and having a career in a creative industry? As a woman in the TV industry who wants kids in the future, I'd love to hear you
you talk a little bit about it from your perspective. Much love from a fellow Maisie. Hi Maisie. You're asking me probably at a bad time because I'm gonna give advice that I probably shouldn't give, but this is just from my perspective and how I feel. My advice would be don't um, have kids until you are kind of like not done with your career, certainly, but like you'd be happy if your career's over. <laughs> and that's a weird thing to say, but let me kind of explain. For me, I like waited to have kids until I was like, okay, if I had to stop having a career, like if I had my kids and I decided like, okay, I don't want to work anymore, I just want to be a mom, am I going to be satisfied with what I've done? And I felt like the answer to that question was yes. And I still think that like if I made the decision to like stop working and just be full-time mom, like I'd be really proud of my accomplishments and like happy with what I've done. But I will say that trying to balance work with being a mom, and I'm my own boss and can make my own schedule and like I'm very lucky in that sense it is it's near impossible I know that might sound discouraging and I don't mean for it to sound discouraging and I know I'm in the thick of it right now like I have four month old twins and a toddler so I know like it should get a little bit easier but basically it feels like I am treading water and like the only thing not under the water is just my nose and my mouth and I'm like desperately just trying to keep my mouth and nose up to have oxygen while the rest of my body is like frantically just trying to like stay afloat. That's kind of how I feel trying to juggle work and being a mom. So it is not easy. Yeah, it's really, really hard. That's why I say make sure that you're at a point where you'd be okay with, and I feel like I'm gonna regret saying this part, maybe I won't, I don't know, where you'd be okay if your career ended because I have been this close to just quitting because I just can't make it all work. I can't. Oh my God, you scared me. Eric just walked in. <gasps> That scared me so I don't okay. tweezers. Oh, gotta go. Um, so Eric interrupted the vlog because he stepped on glass and he wants me to get out of his foot. Oh yeah, you I can see it. I can't feel. Ah! <laughs> there's blood on you. There's blood. I know there's blood. That's why I can't see. There's blood! Uh, yeah. I don't know where it is, it just hurt. Ah! Shh. I can hear it. I can hear it crunch it. Did you get it? No. You're gonna have to dig. <laughs> oh. Do you hear that? Yeah, I hear it. What's that? What's that noise? It's the sound of glass. <laughs> Do you think you got it? Nope. <laughs> to be continued. I got it. You can't see it, but. <sighs> My hero. Well, I had it. Did you just drop it? Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Well, that was very dramatic. What a way to end the vlog. What was I saying? So, um, anyway, I think I was saying I've gotten very close to feeling like I need to quit because, not really because I, I didn't want to, I just felt like it, it's impossible to do it all. And then somehow you survive it and somehow you do it. It's really, really hard. <laughs> I know that like I'm at a point where if I did need to quit, I'd be like really happy with everything that I've been able to accomplish and all that I've been able to do, but I don't want to quit. I want to keep going because I love working and I love performing and I love making videos and I love uh, making people laugh and I love, not that I think I'm that funny, but you know what I'm saying. So yeah, it's really, really hard and it feels near impossible and somehow I, I'm doing it, but I'm barely hanging on. I'm just hoping that it's going to get easier and I think that's what's keeping me hanging on is that like I'm hoping that this really hard part will end and then things will get better and a little bit easier or just different maybe not easier but just different in the way that I could handle it better does that make sense but you know it's something very interesting that I have realized being a working mom something people always say is like oh you just have babies or you have kids you know whatever when they see me out working or alone without them they're like well who's watching the kids like it's like expected immediately that I have to work work full time and also take care of the kids, which I do, but like people are always shocked if I'm not with my kids. And by the way, this has been like just a couple of times because I'm always with my kids, but people are always like, well, who's with the kids? Like as though they don't have a dad. And I was thinking, I don't think guys get asked that question. I don't think that like if Eric went to work right now, like if he had to go work on a set, I don't think anyone would be like, well, who's with the kids right now? They'd be like, oh, congrats on the babies. I don't know. It's, re it's, really, it's really weird the expectation that I have on myself because of what society has taught me that I need to do as a mom and how I need to be as a mom. Like a working mom who also, um, stay at home mom who does everything but also works 
24 seven. I don't know, that's really hard. And that's been a weird thing to realize like as a working mother is that like people, I don't know, I'm not making any sense. I feel like I'm delusionally tired and I'm not making any sense. And I feel like I just gave bad advice. I feel like my advice was like, don't have babies until you want to quit working. And that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying it's very, very hard for me in my opinion and in my experience, it's been near impossible to balance work and being the mom that I want to be. A lot of days I feel like I have to pick one or the other and obviously I always pick my children and that's what makes me think like sometimes like oh I might have to leave this career behind because I just want to be the best mom ever but honestly I feel like part of being the best mom ever to my kids is showing them that I'm not going to give up on what I love to do and what I'm passionate about and my dreams and my job because I don't want them to ever do that. So it's like it's a hard thing. It's something I struggle with a lot. I don't want to teach them to give up but I also want to teach them how to be a good parent. It's a struggle. And part of your question was, how do you balance like working and being pregnant? And that just depends on your pregnancy. My pregnancy was horrendous. I don't know how anyone can have, like I am so, so freaking lucky that I, that this is my job and that I was able to talk about my experience being pregnant as part of my job. Most people don't have that like luxury. So I can't give advice on that at all. That sounds really, really hard. I don't know. I'm, I'm giving horrible advice. Don't ask me for advice. I can't give it. Did I say any words? I don't think that made any sense what I just said. I hope that some of that made sense. But yeah, I love being a mom and I love my job and I want to do both of them as best as I possibly can, obviously. And it's hard when I feel like I can't be the best at my job and do the best work ever. Like that's just hard for me sometimes. Anyway, I don't think it made any sense, but my husband has glass in his foot, or I guess he doesn't anymore because I saved the day. And we're going to Santa Barbara tomorrow. I know we've been going there a lot lately, we just, it's hot in LA and there's not much to do with the kids. And in Santa Barbara, we have my parents and Eric and I can go on a date, which is like so necessary for our relationship. It's really important to us. And we just really like that. Also, we can, yeah, we can take the kids to the beach and the park and like all these fun places and it's really nice. So we're going tomorrow and that's gonna be fun. And yeah, I'm going to go do a little bit of work and pump go to bed. See you guys later. Sorry I gave bad advice, bye. You can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax. That's the name of our podcast.